Huayan Buddhism was founded in a highly transitional, dynastic, and religious period in pre-modern Chinese history. At this time, the Tang Dynasty overtook the Sui Dynasty, and Buddhism battled Confucianism to be at the forefront of imperial chosen school of thought. The Sui Tang dynastic transition was a critical time for the formulation and growth of the Huayan school's Buddhist practice. Initially during this period, the main source of the Buddhist religion came from the Tiantai school founded by Qi Yi based on the Lotus Sutra. Although the Lotus Sutra and the Tiantai school were much more popular when the two schools first appeared, by the 6th century the Huayan school became the more influential branch of Buddhism. Both schools are considered the most theoretical and systematic branches, although there are key differences leading to, to the transition from one to the other. The Huayan school is thought to be a sudden teaching rather than the gradual teaching of the Tiantai school meaning it is taught as a direct revelation to the truth rather than the truth being slowly revealed through the doctrine. It is also believed that the Garland Sutra, which the Huayan school is based on, presents the Dharma, the Buddha Dharma in the most per- perfect and purest form. Although Huayan is seen as more exclusive as Tiantai, it became one of the most influential schools of Buddhism at the time. During this turbulent period of transition, Tu Shun brought forth the original doctrine and became the nominal founder of the Huayan School of Buddhism, also known as the Flower Garland School. From there, the doctrine was formulated further by the second patriarch, Qi Yan, who added further teachings of his own. However, the Huayan School was not formally systematized until the third patriarch and acknowledged founder, Fa Sang. Fa Sang used the teachings of both previous patriarchs to officially found the Huayan branch of Buddhism. After this, two more patriarchs, Chen Quan and Sun Mi, continued updating the doctrine. While each patriarch added their own thoughts and concepts to the school, they each faced their own individual challenges. The acceptance of the Huayan school wavered throughout the Tang dynasty. At the start, Fa Sang was able to establish his teachings under the support of Empress Wu, allowing for the Huayan school to establish itself at the forefront of this new wave of Buddhism. However, after the An Lushan Rebellion in 755, Chen Quan was restricted under the higher military governance of the later Tang Dynasty. Through the turbulent beginnings of the Huayan school, it became a very important part of the Chinese culture of the time. Also known as the Flower Garland School of Buddhism under the Mayuyana Buddhism philosophy, the core principle of the Huayan school revolves around phenomena and its impact on the phenomenal world and the absolute world. Quote, the basis of Huayan Buddhism is that all elements of reality depend on each other and arise because of each other spontaneously. At every moment, an infinite number of possibilities exist, and it is possible, therefore, for an infinite number of Buddhas to emerge into the world, end quote. Figures A and B are located within the famous cave system of the Tang, located in Dunhuang, and they both pro- represent the Flower Garland Sutra, a direct representation of the Wayan School of Buddhism. Although the Wayan School of Buddhism has one centralized teaching, it is considered to be one of the most advanced schools of Buddhism due to its complex and intricate doctrine. The Avatamska Sutra, an ornate scripture, is one of the two central pillars of the Wayan School of Buddhism's doctrine. Figure C shows one small portion of the Avatamska Sutra. At 80 chapters, it is the longest canon in Mayayana Buddhism and is a central pillar to the Wayan school. Figure D is a painting found in the Avatamska Sutra as well. The 16th chapter of the Avatamska Sutra, figure E, also provides a detailed painting on silk of a bodhisattva, someone who postpones achieving nirvana in order to help others. Dharma Datu is the second core pillar of the Hawaiian school of Buddhism. Quote, Dharma means the upholding law, while the Datu makes it possible for the Dharma Datu to be related to two seemingly contradictory realms, the phenomenal world and the absolute, end quote. There are four Dharma Datus, also known as the four realms of reality. The Dharma Datu of phenomena, the Dharma Datu of principle, the Dharma Datu of the non-obstruction of phenomena and principle, and the Dharma Datu of the non-obstruction of phenomena and phenomena. In addition, there are five meanings of Datu, nature, cause, repository, true reality, and profundity. Figure F exhibits five Buddha representations of these meanings. 
In relation to figure G, both paintings show a further representation of the ten directions. The ten directions exemplify the balance between phenomena and its consequences. Three out of the ten directions are Chao Yi, teaching and its meaning, Qing Xing, understanding and its principle, Ying Wo, causes and their results. The Hu Yang School of Buddhism had a profound impact on the art and literature depicted at the height of its popularity during the late Sui and early Tang dynasties. First, I would like to take a deeper look into the Megao Caves in Dongyang, China. This site became a gateway to the Western civilizations and the epicenter for commerce along the Silk Road. It is a very important site to Buddhist history because it mapped the changes in Buddhist iconography through time. Most importantly for the study, it became a major site of worship and artistic expression of the Huiyang School of Buddhism or the Flower Garland School. The caves were developed over a span of a thousand years starting in the 4th century AD. Of the 492 caves formed, half were built during the Renaissance of the Tang Dynasty, where the mural paintings were at its most popular. Clay figures and vibrantly expressed murals depict popular themes from the Flower Garland School and the popular art styles of the age. Here we have a mural from Cave 61 painted in the 10th century that depicts the specific Tang interpretation of the Avatamsaka Sutra, or Flower Garland Sutra. This is the depiction of the seven locations in nine assemblies and is distinct to the Tang interpretation because prior to this dynasty, in the 5th century translation, Buddhists only recognized eight assemblies rather than the nine depicted here. This depicts the Buddha magically appearing in seven mythical locations where he expounds the Huyang school teachings in nine gatherings, in which the assemblies are more or less identical with minimal detail of context. Many other caves depict the same scene of the seven locations in nine assemblies, which is evidence of the popularity of the sutra during the Tang era. This motif is also seen in cave 85. Taking a closer look, we can visually see the nine assemblies that all take place in the realm of desire in the three world system. Starting with the top left assembly and going to the right, we have an outline of the assemblies and their significance to Buddhism. In the next primary source, we get a look at the single teaching assembly motif in Cave 9 of the Bagao Caves, in which a seated Buddha is depicted in the center surrounded by bodhisattvas. All of these murals are evidence of the shift to the depiction of narrative art forms during the popularity of the Huyang School of Buddhism. Along with these motifs, the Huyang School of Buddhism stressed the importance of the three worthies as seen in the large sculptures known as the Dazu rock carvings in Chongqing, China, created during the Tang Dynasty. This depicts the triad venerated by the Huyang School of Buddhism. We see Manjushri on the left, Arakana in the center, and Samatabhadra on the right. Manjushri is the Bodhisattva or Buddha to be, the personification of supreme wisdom. The Varakana Buddha is the highest deity in the Huyang school of Buddhism and is central to the Avatamsaka Sutra. He is placed in the center among the three worthies. He represents the ground of being, and all phenomena emanate from him. He pervades all things. The Samatabhadra is the Bodhisattva associated with the practice of meditation. It is significant to the Huyang school of Buddhism due to its creation of the Ten Great Vows. In addition, there is also evidence of the influence of Buddhism on the rule of China through art and calligraphy. In this example, Emperor Taizong of the early Tang Dynasty has written the preface of a Buddhist canon, clearly showing the importance of Buddhism to the rule of China during this dynastic period. Huayan Buddhism had a major impact on the religion, culture, and politics of the late Sui and early Tang Dynasties. The Huayan school of Buddhism not only left a lasting mark on Chinese religion, specifically Buddhism, but also played a significant role in the religious histories of Korea and Japan. Huayan Buddhism in China 
was essentially ended by the religious purge of Tang Emperor Wuzong in 1843 to 1845. But by that time, it had been established in Korea, largely through the writings of Usong, a Korean monk. Huayan Buddhism in Korea is known as Hoyan. In the 8th century, Korean monk Sim Song, a disciple of Fazong, transmitted Hoyan to Japan, where it is known as Kegon. Kegon was never a large school, but it still lives on today. While the school no longer exists in China, the doctrines, metaphors, and vocabulary of Huayan Buddhism provide the philosophical foundation for Chan Buddhism, Taoism, Neo-Confucianism of the Song and Ming dynasties, and much of the rest of popular East Asian Buddhism. As a result, Huayan Buddhism has a lasting influence and applicability to modern Buddhist practice. During the height of Huayan Buddhism, not only was it a religion, but it was also politically fueled. Fa Zong, one of the five patriarchs, famously became advisor to Empress Wu, who attempted to use Huayan ideology to govern her empire during her reign from 690 to 705. It was through the strong political support from the empress that Fa Zong was able to create a new school that outspread quickly. Just as Huayan Buddhism was able to take off through political power, a political force was also responsible for its demise. Today, the Huayan Monastery is located in Datong, Shangji, China. While it has been burned down and rebuilt several times, it displays ancient Chinese architecture, sculpture, frescoes, and inscriptions while being a cultural synthesis of religion and politics.